Hello guys. Today I'm gonna show you how to use the S82357, the GPIB to USB interface to connect your GPIB instruments with your PC and to transfer the data and the commands. What I'm gonna do is, as you can see, I have a scope, Agilent DSO5000 serial scope, and a function generator from Agilent 2. And uh, I will download the waveform here, the Square waveform. Download this waveform to my PC first through through the GPIB interface, and then upload this waveform to the function generator and use function generator to replay to regenerate the exactly same waveform out. All the data and the commands uh, go through this GPIB interface and the software um, I will use uh, all from Agilent directly. Now, you can see that the S82357, the GPIB interface, has connected to GPIB cable with the scope and the function generator. Now. I'm going to connect the other side, the USB side, to the PC, and uh, I will bring up the Agilent IO library software. So you can see the software automatically finds the GPIB interface, and it will search all the instruments that connect to your PC through the GPIB interface. Yeah, you can see. Here is the GPIB interface it found. And here are the two instruments. This software can be downloaded from Agilent, direct, Agilent website directly and freely. The software can be used to uh, find, search, and identify the instruments that connect to your PC. So we can see that we found the 33220, the function generator at address 10, and the DSO5054A, the scope, at address 7. Now, it means that the two instruments have been connected to your PC, and uh, the setup and the connection is set up now. The next step we're going to do is we will open another software called IntuiLink Waveform Editor. This is another free software too, and the software can be downloaded from Agilent website. The first step we're going to do is we will connect to the scope using this software. So let's press Tools, Import Waveform from Agilent 5000 Serial. and it will search for the scopes that has connected to your PC. So you need to wait a moment. It's gonna scan all the available GPIB address and find where the scope is. Yes. It finds two available address, address seven and address 10. So let's identify address seven first. Now you can see it finds a sol oscillar scopes name is DSO 5054A Manufacturing Agilent Technology. Yes, let's press connect and close. Now let's download the waveform. For example, we download a 1000 points waveform from the scope. Press OK. And now you can see the square waveform has been downloaded to your PC through the GPIB interface. The waveform is exactly the same as what we have seen on the scope screen. Let's see it again. Yes, that's a waveform we got from the scope. And uh, 
The next thing we're going to do is we choose communication connection and from the function generator. We're going to upload this waveform to the function generator. So it searches for the function generator again. Here, still the two available address. We already know that address 7 is for scope, so address 10 is for the function generator. You need to identify it again and choose connect, close. Then the connection to the function generator has been set up. So we choose connection, send waveform. Here, we input the waveform frequency. From the scope, we can know that the waveform frequency is 1.2 kHz. So we input 1.2 kHz here. And send the waveform. It says that it's going to need two seconds to upload the waveform. Yeah, it's done now. So let's back to the function generator and we can see that the output key, the output light here is automatically turns on, which means the output is already on, the waveform is already out. We connect the function generator's output to the scope's second channel. So when we turn on the second channel of the scope, we can see the square waveform outputted from the function generator. Now you can see the first channel is a scope is a waveform the scope measures, and the second channel, the green waveform, is from the function generator. They have the same frequency. They have the same shape. So <coughs> I hope now you can see that with S82357, uh, you can connect your GPIV instruments to your PC directly. And the key beneficial is uh, S82357 is compatible with Agilent. GPIB USB interface, so you can use this interface cards with Agile and software directly, with either with IO library or with another, or with other softwares. Or you can program your instruments well uh, through S82357, like LabVIEW, VEE, C, C Sharp, C++. So S82357 is really a low cost and a very easy to use solution for you to connect your GPIB instruments to your PC. Okay, thanks for watching this video. Bye.